for the purposes of uh, uh, your bigger patients, we're going to have you ask them to step up left foot first. Even if you're only taking a left foot view, mm -hmm. ask them to step up left foot first. In our purposes uh, for this video, we're going to do a, a right AP. You click the button on your Excel machine, that's shot number one. Bzz. Patient does not move. You simply reposition the head okay. to anywhere between 30 to 45 degrees, whatever you use. Mm -hmm. It's your right oblique. Come back, reposition the head. Ask the patient to take one step to the right and put their left foot in the field of view. You got your left AP shot. Click. Move the head. Now, um, excels are limited to 30 degrees going to the left. So you can get up to a 30 degree left. We'll get around that. Week. Yeah. Um, so that's four shots and the patient moved one step. If you need to get a, a greater angle on the left oblique, have them turn and face. Have them turn around. That'll be that'll be an exception to the rule. I don't. I can't think of any situation where we'll have to do that. But that's good to know. Okay. Um, you can also, after you've taken your first four shots, you can have the patient come back here and stand if they're small enough and agile enough while you reposition the base. It is five steps. Step number one, anytime you see a hole through your finger. <laughs> this is held in place by a plastic hole. Cut. <laughs> This is held in place by a plastic cleat. It's, it's stuck on the first one. So all you have to do, step number one, is lift it up just like half an inch. And now it's catching on the second cleat. That's step number one. Step number two, I do this with my pinky for effect because you want to know how heavy that is. It weighs like 18 pounds. But I never lift it. I simply slide it into place. Step number two. Step number three, again, get a hole for my finger. Step number four, door closes. Step number five. Now you can do the lateral. Head comes out, and I'm going to have to move this over just a few inches. Nice. We're good. Yeah. And you're in position for your laterals. Now, when you are done with your lateral shots, always bring the head back up. There is a spring in this piston that goes in a, a horizontal direction. So when it's laid down, it's putting tension on that spring. You want to relieve that tension, make it last longer. Get another 20 years out of it. Ain't that the truth. Um, <laughs> uh, and just leave the rest of it in that position. Take your laterals first on the next patient, if you're gonna take laterals. We we'll always do. Less well, that makes sense, less, less farting around. Yep. Okay, and then, you do the left and the right lateral on that same carbon fiber side right here? Yes. So we do a right lateral mm -hmm. for those patients who are nimble enough. Have them turn around. Your left lateral for those patients who are not nimble or you're worried about their um, ability to make that move. Most of my practices will do something like this. Okay. Well, that's, that'll work too. That's a lot less rolling around. So who would like to put it back in the other position? Step right up. So it's five, which is the head. 